<laughs> Dude. There, there are a few things. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, what's going on? Middle of the day, I know it's strange, it's weird, but we're going to do a little yep. weekly daily Wednesdays. We're going to talk about Linux. That's what we do. A little bit of pre-show. Speaking of that, I need to reset that clock. Where's that thing I call Taco Clock that I renamed? Because I renamed it Timer Video and I can never find it. Hey, everyone. Live on Twitch? I mean, we've mm -hmm. been live on Twitch for years. A while, but... yeah. <laughs> We like signed that years. exclusivity deal, bro. Yeah, we're not part of the Vin <laughs> Network. Because <laughs> that's Aww. a real thing. The other Vin Network, yes. <laughs> that. Okay, the second time in my life. <laughs> Slightly uncommon name, admittedly. Named after yes. the dude from the diagram, 100%. This is a true story. <laughs> Awesome. But it's yes. kind of what happens when you have scientist mothers. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> and the way that rolled out, it was just like, oh, that's a unique nickname. Going through, you know, primary, secondary school. Then Fast and the Furious came out. Uh huh. Oh, yeah. They were like, oh, Vin? Like Vin Diesel? And I'm like, no, man. No. <laughs> no, not Vin. Never Fine. heard that before. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> So now what we're getting to is Steve even found it a day later. We were talking about it last night, Steve. Um, they're effectively G4 TVs coming back, but it's going to be eSports. And I'm not making this up. This is going to be mm -hmm. a real cable satellite. It's going to be called the VIN Network. Mm -hmm. V-E-N-N. -N. This isn't even like, no, it's even spelled different. It's like, God, Jesus. <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> it's going to be a fun Isn't time. Isn't it a tautology? Because uh, one of the ends in the VEN network, it's already network. <laughs> oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a fun time. We got a lot of stuff to talk about this week, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> yes, yes. Up to and including Huawei, the GPU. Acer. Uh, Manjaro, Fedora, all the things. <laughs> <laughs> Do I have that? I have that set up. Do I? Maybe. Ah, let's move that there. And... Oh, and speaking of this occasion... Got my TwitchCon. <laughs> Remember a couple years ago, Ben, when I went to the Twitch conference and and got some game keys from the developers and talked to lots of people about Linux, including Dead Cells and a few others. Ladies and gentlemen, you just witnessed. Nobody's asked me about my cup yet. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Theron was just about to ask. So. <laughs> yeah, he's saying that now just to be nice. Hey, dude. Yeah. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. I lie to myself all the time. Come on. Oh. <laughs> well, actually, this this kind of special. Uh, actually, because of that that trip, that was one of the trips that was. I was realizing, okay, it's time to be part of Linux Gamecast. So you know, that was uh, kind of the start uh, where I'm. That sounds was... like a personal problem. No. <laughs> Why would you willingly decide right. that? I wouldn't get on. I wouldn't get online and brag about poor decisions. <laughs> it's like Aww. I kind of got drafted into this. It's like, oh, you yeah. want to play a game? Yeah, it's gonna be on video. That's fine. Right. Oh, by the way, you're going to be on the Saturday show. Hey. Yep. <laughs> That's how it works. We're very stringent. <laughs> yeah. So it's neat because I I just got out all my. Uh, TwitchCon sw swag. So I have a be big beach ball and <laughs> tote bag, <laughs> a hat. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I think everything's taking long. Good. We'll find out. We'll always find out. <laughs> Linux Neuro, there are ways around that, like Pafu Control. <laughs> Just pick a different sync. No. 
<laughs> Listen, man, he worked very hard to come up with that excuse. <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> did, did you find your boots? Still out of stock. Hope you're proud of yourself. I almost Aww. bought a new pair. <laughs> I did. I, I had to stop myself. It's like, you don't need. This is a problem with me. If I don't need something, you've all witnessed me trying to buy stuff. Um, I was going to get a pair of like dress boots. Dress combat boots. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> I like the nice wingtips. They were cheap too. They're like 215 bucks. Mm -hmm. uh, it's like you they have almost all the sizes except for nines 8.5s eights and 7.5s oh <laughs> okay all the other ones are in stock <laughs> have you thought about looking at the um they had my size it, probably it's i easy. mean you, you are just, tall so <laughs> you go to the drop down menu you go down to clown <laughs> yes. Yeah, I'm half tempted to actually get the uh, the 9.5s with some thin inner soles. Mm. Like, okay, we're good. <laughs> hey, Pennywise. Hello, Pennywise. Hello, Pennywise. <laughs> Everything is coming up. I think all of our chat bridges are working. We were we we're doing extensive <laughs> testing 15 minutes before we went live. <laughs> so if you type something from Twitch chat, IRC, or Discord, it should make it to us. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So, the wonders of bots. <laughs> yeah, we're still going to do some work to get the Streamlabs bot working correctly. That's the one I like to use mm -hmm. because out of the box it's got full transparency. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. And we just stick that on and not worry about it. But DevOps. We gotta get our DevOps guy back on it. Mm -hmm. Need empties. Empty for all the things. <laughs> Poor Jordan. Aww. He's been doing Poor DevOps Jordan, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, he's been doing a lot. <laughs> well, I mean, it's we're, they both uh, help out. <laughs> no. So I was explaining in the previous super show last week, we're like a real company now, you know, because now it's like multiple mm -hmm. steps instead of me just like, hey, empty. Could, I was like, Jordan, this is your project. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But I do. Hang on. I'm not melting in here, which is nice. Yeah, it's only 27 yeah, degrees outside. Yeah, the temperature has come down a little bit. When I walked out of the house today, it was single digits. 36 <laughs> that was nice here change. yesterday, man. I was like, jeez. <laughs> what was it, Ben? 30? 36. Oh, my. <laughs> oh, boy. This is bad. I don't I don't like that, because yeah. that's within a degree of a Threadripper. <laughs> yes. All right, so we got about a minute and thirty. Jill, do you need to go do anything? You got a minute and thirty seconds. Uh, uh, yeah, it's okay. I'm okay. <laughs> Well, if Jill's not going to go do anything, I'm going to just fill this up. Fine. Okay. Be like that. Abandoning us. <laughs> Aww. Man, I'm using Bluetooth keyboards, I think. Yeah, I think this keyboard's Bluetooth. Look at this Starship device. <laughs> And if that's not janky enough, it's got a wireless number bad because reasons, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> All right, that was quick. 
Thanks, to Thanks, Ganuru. <laughs> <laughs> Solidex Nuru, were you serious about that whole moving to Canada thing? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, I can imagine going from like Tanzania to the US, probably a lot of people around is like, no, I need to move somewhere where there aren't too many people around. I'm going to live in the middle of Saskatchewan or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's the <a> thing. <laughs> Oh, Lenny Skinner gets to see us in 1080p now. That's so <laughs> awesome. <laughs> oh, so happy. And yeah, Linux Skinner, just go to our uh, the Linux Gamecast live page so you can avoid the ads. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it was a clever ruse this whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm good, Arthurin. <laughs> ever had issues with losing connection on Bluetooth audio? Uh, uh, no. No, not, not recently. Not losing connections. Yeah, it's <laughs> like sometimes it would like stop and then come back. Yeah. And then the audio would be out of sync. I had that, but uh, they've since fixed that. Mm -hmm. So... Mm. <laughs> <laughs> 16k 160 fps yeah one of those <laughs> what are we talking about you can have either a stereo or a mono mic why would you use a stereo what would be the point of okay that irritates me when i see somebody because you, you will commonly see stereo microphones in camcorders mm -hmm. how many yes. times have you been watching a video where somebody's <laughs> off to the left and you're like that's my speaker Headphones messed up. <laughs> yeah. 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 Like, it's like, did the bias. other speaker go? Right. What happened? <laughs> like, pause. Okay, let's just open another video. Okay. All right. That's what that is. And if you didn't know, that's what it is. It, that is, in fact, the is do. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> is do. <laughs> so you are having the issue of the sound dropping off for just a little bit and then coming back and the thing being out of sync. That was fixed. Uh,. It was fixed a long time ago, actually. <laughs> we actually covered that fix on LWDW. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can't fix yes, cats. Yes, it was neutered. <laughs> One, two, three, four. I think we are locked and loaded, ready to go. Okay. Yes. Pennywise, that's fair, man. You can always safely blame Bluetooth. Um, <laughs> even if it's not the reason, you can... Let's get the notes moved around. And... Yeah, I do have the uh, the sound bar. That's how it connects to this particular box. It's through the Bluetooth. And it's fine. Even being on the other side of the living room. <laughs> with a TV in the middle. <laughs> as long as they work well enough, the only... They will get out of sync. Oh, yeah, but sometimes it'll correct itself and the audio will be a little bit quicker for a while until it syncs up and then it'll go back to normal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's one thing, old as they are, but I love my Sonos speakers because it's like there's just no messing around with it. It's like done, done, hey, button throughout the house. Don't have to worry about it. Yep. <laughs> okay, you mean spit if? Um, probably. That's how it's connected to the TV. That's town bar. <laughs> what, Spitter? Yeah. Like Spitter for ADAT. Uh, what's the difference? Round <laughs> cable or clicky plug cable? Clicky cable. Okay, then that's an optical. That's uh, ADAT. Light pipe. Okay. Light pipe. That's what I got on the back of my sound device thing. Technical terms, ladies and gentlemen. I know what I'm doing. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> show yes too bad we're gonna stay here for another 30 minutes <laughs> oh yep, we're done good night everyone <laughs> <laughs> oh man i had that scratched piece of dead cow for like a week and it just flattened out just perfectly on amazon it's like here's your replacement one I'm like, let's go through this again yeah <laughs> <laughs> Put like some controllers on the sides, it's like there. <laughs> you know, with all the new wireless devices on my desktop, this is not not crossing yeah. my mind. Yeah, it's like. We're <laughs> recording. We're recording. Question mark. Yeah, we're recording. Mm -hmm. Okay, I uh, hang on. One thing I need to governate the thread ripper. There we go. Performance, all the things. Yeah. <laughs> Want to use all two hundred watts? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we are ready to go, I think. And welcome back to Linux Weekly Daily Wednesdays, where we sit back, mm -hmm. relax, and take a look at all the fun things going on in Linux and open source in our world, things we find interesting. How's everyone doing? I'm Vince Stone, not the network, not to be confused with that. <laughs> uh, we do have Jill Bryant uh, <laughs> and um, Pedro Mateus and everyone at home joining us live, being beautiful, because it's another Aww. great day for Linux, everyone. You know it. Hey, um... We've had a lot going on since last week, you know? We've been yeah. playing around. <laughs> we are on Twitch, like, Yay. mainly because of quality. Isn't that kind of weird, Pedro? We've had, like, a progression. We're like, then yeah. YouTube got better. <laughs> and now Twitch is like, uh -huh. no, we have the best quality now. And we don't understand brand loyalty, which is a good thing for you at home. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I you just wanna... get the best quality thing. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. man. Um, I did answer because I know Mike. Like, he's like, hey, man, what about YouTube? And this thing. I'm like, don't worry. The produced versions of everything we do, you know, that have been cleaned up and they're still going to show up on um, YouTube's. No issues there. But Twitch, I'm going to mm -hmm. work on that onboarding process because we did the uh, Linux Gamecast Weekly. For like and you know mm -hmm. we we started that show for ten minutes like hey you can be an affiliate now I'm like all right let's that's a process <laughs> y'all need to sort that out but <laughs> if you watch Pedro's stream that's a gear Pedro put the notifications code and you were almost done playing your open moral win and yeah <laughs> somebody sent you bits that was awesome <laughs> <laughs> and it was the sound it, it was the sound of it it's like what the hell's going on and I see something moving in the OBS when it's like. Oh, uh -huh. bits. Thank you. <laughs> I got to Yay. hear Pedro cheer for bits, and that made it Yay. all worth it because I thought it <laughs> hilarious. Dance monkeys dance. That was dance. awesome. Jill, what's new with you, man? Oh, boy. Well, I had a great time again on Big Daddy Linux Live European Edition last Saturday. That's always a lot of fun. And I'm actually really looking forward to being interviewed on Very Good Entertainment this Saturday with two of my favorite podcasters, our very own Linda Tepler, Sorceress, uh, uh, Sorceress Zero in chat, and Lola Larissi. So I'm really excited about that. And, and, uh, 
just looking forward to chatting with them. It's going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> right on. Pedro, <laughs> give me that boot update, baby. It's still no boots. Uh, it, it hasn't been the four weeks that they uh, said uh, in their last email, so it's probably going to be in October for the look of things. Well, no. in the meantime, I do have the uh, RX 570 AMD GPU arriving tomorrow, supposedly. So, yeah, that, that, that will be nice <laughs> to play around with. Oh, I guess I want to plug this thing, Fine. too. Um, I got one of these. Oh. They're neat. They're yes. cheap. They're like 60 bucks, but be warned that they're... You can see that the, the, there's no English in the instructions or anything like that. These are imported directly from Japan, and they're huge in Japan. <laughs> Good trackball. Still That's learning awesome. how to use it. It's brilliant. So, yeah. like, I get till the end of this month, anything that just, just radically gets cocked up during a show, I'm like, yeah, trackball. <laughs> like, but you knocked yeah. over the monitor. <laughs> trackball did it, and it wasn't. <laughs> It was trying to run away. I had to catch it. Dude, so you're getting that new AMD card and, well, you don't really have to worry about it, but if you had like a 5700 XT or something like that, you might be thinking, how how use? And, well, 5.3, we're talking about kernel 5.3, is out. And kind of the big thing here is it includes support for the AMD Navi GPUs. Yeah. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Now, it does also support, which is like the um, Zhao Zin x86 cpu and there's some stuff over there and but that's that's like the big feature that i think a lot of people were like hey that's kind of neat however um gotta be honest i was like just reading through like the bug reports leading up to this release it technically works but it's not completely 100 percent baked uh there's still reports of it mm -hmm. freezing get some bad idle temps of course a lot of people are like well it's got bad idle temps on windows too so don't worry about that and stuff like that but hey isn't that kind of like a, a fun fantastic world where uh, just plug it in and go yeah, yeah. That, amazing that, that is the linux world that's the dream <laughs> right <laughs> yeah the latest and greatest plug and play <laughs> Awesome. Cool. Yeah. So what's really awesome also is Linux 5.3 added more support for ARM SOCs, including from MediaTek and AM Logic. And they also added support for the audio connexent codec driver. Oh, thank goodness. Mm. I have some thin clients back there that are going to be very happy in some old laptops. <laughs> so that was awesome. That was one of the that was one of the last audio chipsets that didn't have support for Linux. <laughs> so now it does. Yep. And also 16 millions of new IPv4 addresses in the 0.0.0 slash 8 range are now available. So that's really good. <laughs> Very good. I mean, if they're opening <laughs> basically the zero range. Yes. We're running out. <laughs> yeah, we're actually we are. running out of IPv4s now. <laughs> yeah. I'm actually surprised uh, but, by now we're not IPv6 on everything. Yeah. <laughs> it'll now, happen eventually. Aren't the, maybe I'm wrong here, but aren't, aren't those uh, Zhaoxin or Zhaozin or however you say it, uh, x86 <laughs> CPUs, aren't, just, aren't those just AMD CPUs, but targeted specifically for the Chinese market? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I think those are the ones. Yeah, you didn't those are the think ones they would that need, are... you know, uh, all that much support, but all right. <laughs> Good to have them. <laughs> Don't worry. Yes. I, I've been told for the past decade that we're running out of IPv4 block, and we're not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, I, I set this everything up on IPv6 for the internet mm -hmm. because I felt like it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much it. However, I mean, if you get a mobile device, it's IPv6. Yes. Oh, yeah. If you're on the 3G network, you, you kind of have to. <laughs> so, uh, Acer did a good. Yes. The more the merrier. The... Oh, it's, it's awesome. Uh, thanks to the great work of Richard Hughes, Acer joins the Linux vendor firmware service. Yay! That Yay. Was one of those... I used to have one of those <laughs> laptops. <laughs> oh, you did that really? exact one. That's yeah. awesome. Uh, it, it was the one that I had for uh, my job in Portugal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One of them. <laughs> oh, okay, because cool. I was about to ask you on purpose, and I was like, oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> cheap laptop. It's like, okay, all right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, that is uh, the Acer Aspire A315. Um, that firmware is now available with more models, of course, to follow soon. You know, hopefully we'll have the whole Acer line on there. And it looks like that's going to happen. And, you know, I'm just amazed because this is really an exciting time to be in Linux because I never thought this would happen just a few years ago. It just it's amazing that we have firmware updating now on Linux. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Strange times, it's... Please, man. I'm just going yeah. to say that because that has never really... Uh, 20 plus years of using Linux is like, well, hope that firmware is good. Um, and we're talking mm -hmm. about hard drives, video cards and stuff like that because option two was like, well, let's see if we can do it through a VM maybe, which mm -hmm. don't, don't do that. Be, having the option to update firmware, like, uh, I downloaded the uh, firmware updater just to see what I could get a hold to. And then it's like all the... Uh, NVMe drives and SSDs in the system, and it's like, wow, that's updatable. Mm -hmm. Don't it's trust amazing. it enough to do it. <laughs> no. <laughs> Especially with, like, SSDs that may or may not contain sensitive data. No. <laughs> but, yeah, Acer is, like, the king or the queen of um, cheap laptops because even their higher-end models, okay, admittedly, they do have some really stupidly expensive ones they got some premium uh, stuff that's <laughs> nice yeah. but yeah. it's also yeah, they, expensive yeah mm. but like for the same specs usually the acer laptop tends to be the cheaper choice uh, so yeah it makes a lot of sense that people end up buying acer laptops and they're um, for most people laptops tend to be their introduction to the world of linux so this yeah. is very nice to see mm -hmm. very nice indeed i think that's mm. good more and more and more just, yeah. 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 <laughs> More. <laughs> All oh, right. Yeah. Uh, on that topic. Yeah. Well, speaking so of, speaking cheap of laptops. laptops. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of laptops, Huawei is now selling the MateBook 13, 14, and X Pro at Vmall, their e commerce marketplace in China. Um, with Deepin Linux pre-installed, like we have been talking about. And this is really great because this is despite concerns of, of Heiwa stopping production on the PC on their PC OEM market because of US sanctions. And actually, to me, I think the trade blacklisting of Huawei by the US government will be good for the development of Linux on their laptops because they may lose their Microsoft Windows licenses, which actually would be a good thing. <laughs> That's making deep in Linux that much better. <laughs> so, and, and putting Linux into the hands of more people. Because Huawei, they're like the, the, the second or third top in the world for devices. So this is really yeah. significant, yeah. They make I, everything. Yeah, <laughs> they make everything. And I know their laptops, they're well loved by the community because they, they look like mm -hmm. MacBooks. You know, and um, they're really uh, Microsoft thin, they're Surface. really light. Yeah, they're yeah. like uh, cheap Ultrabooks. Yeah. Which people are mm. dying to get. So, yeah. <laughs> cheap Ultrabooks. Yeah. So, a netbook on steroids? <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but do, do you think I would see better or worse performance than a $179 um, Acer refurbished Chrome OS tablet? Uh, mm. I think the Huawei laptop would be better. Okay. Yeah. Just because the chip on the tablet has to be really low power to, you know, not burn your hands. Well, it's not a chip, <laughs> so. <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> That's good. But neat, yeah, man. no. Um, they're using Deepin, and. Yeah. <laughs> time to put your tinfoil hats on, kids, nope. because. Uh, <laughs> Uh, if there was ever a reason, and Deepin has been accused many times of containing spyware because they had a single HTTP link for the CNZZ um, data aggregator network that they have in China, it's like, oh, it's spyware. It's like, uh, they're <sighs> getting just telemetry data. All right, fine, whatever. Um, so mm -hmm. if there was ever a reason to scrutinize their code, them working with Huawei... That was probably the time to do it. Mm. Actual, actually, go in and see what they're doing exactly. Then fall heads off. <laughs> giving, yes. giving all the options <laughs> that we have Pedro. right there. That <laughs> is. <laughs> Did you think there's a Windows 10 user watching right now? Going, yeah, because you're you're being spied on. 
Oh, you know there are. I mean, unironically yeah. saying that. <laughs> <laughs> you know there are. <laughs> LGC cares. Cares. <laughs> All right. What do we got up next? <laughs> up next. Well, uh, continuing from the mates, but not the mate laptops. This is, um, this comes from Wimpy. Uh, and the Linux mate, uh, the Ubuntu mate uh, Linux distro, which had a little tool uh that was on, just an you, indicator you, know if you, you were setting this up i, I would be tempted and uh, do you hear me one press just make it red just call, give somebody an aneurysm <laughs> yeah <laughs> but yeah uh they'll they've always had that little uh indicator uh that would let you switch between uh the intel graphics and the nvidia graphics uh like full-on nvidia graphics to render everything or just use the intel for power savings but now, uh, the Mate Optimus uh, applet has been improved uh, with the last couple of versions, which uh, adds one extra option, which, for those of you who have used Bumblebee in the past, may look very similar, because uh, it's called NVIDIA On Demand, and what it does is it basically runs everything, mm -hmm. like just the basic window rendering, browsers, what have you. That's all done on the Intel um, chip, but the NVIDIA card is powered on and just waiting for you to tell it's like, oh, there's a game coming. <laughs> Done. <laughs> mm. So, yeah, it's it's basically, it's not mm -hmm. quite there yet because it still has the same, um, basically the exact same um, problem that, well, it's not really a problem, it's just a limitation that uh, Bubblebee has, which is, the NVIDIA card is still powered on. It may not be using much, and it may be in a low power state, but it is still draining power, just waiting for something to happen, while uh, the Optimus technology is supposed to let you power it off and power it on as it's necessary. So that that's still a thing. Yeah, and it's really great also because it also it does support GNOME Shell, XFCE, Budgie, and the Cinnamon desktops, which is yeah, wonderful. Any so GTK it's not things. just yeah, <laughs> any GTK, so it doesn't have to be mate. And thanks again to Martin Wimpress Wimpy for all his wonderful work on this. And I, I wanted to quote uh, someone in our chat. Um, Adrian said in chat, the Optimus support in Mate 19.10 is amazing. My life has now changed. So yeah, it, <laughs> it works awesome. uh, like out of the box. Ubuntu Mate was always great uh -huh. if you had an Optimus yes. laptop because it would just immediately plop that there. It's like, oh, you have an NVIDIA card. Okay, you get to switch between those cards. Just log it in and out there. Done. Yeah. <laughs> And now it's nice to have the GUI, so it's great. Solid piece of kit. Good work. <laughs> I'm digging it. Um, yep. Hey, maybe you don't like everything to work, you know, out of the box. <laughs> oh, Arch. <laughs> no, this is Arch! wonderful. This is... <laughs> so this is uh, last week we talked about Manjaro becoming a professional project. And now after six months of development and hard work, we have Manjaro 18.1.0. Uh, which just has been released. And in this version, you can choose LibreOffice or SoftMakers Free Office 2018 during the install. And Manjaro 18.1 now includes support for flat packs and snap packages. And in doing that, they renamed the graphical package manager management system from F Pacman to Bayou B A U H. I I I don't know what it's how it's ba? supposed to be pronounced. Ba, I guess. I can only one can only. <laughs> So that that was done on a dare. It's like, hey man, yeah. like, you know what? F Pac Man, brilliant. It's gonna work with uh, snaps and flat packs. F Pac Man, easy to remember. And like, mm -hmm. you know what? Let's mess with everyone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're gonna name something that's like two letters off from a Stargate SG One villain. Come on. Uh, oh, there we go. <laughs> I will say this: that is, uh, you're gonna get the pop up because you, it was like two months ago. The internet lost its mind. They're like, oh, they're getting paid by um, free office it, soft maker. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Which they weren't. They're like, no, it's another German company. We we're going to like work with it. So you're gonna get that pop up option which i'm sure but again i don't understand debian's guilty of this ubuntu's guilty of this fedora why are you installing LibreOffice mm -hmm. by default that that's a chunky critter and <laughs> most people don't to be fair do they don't install like the full uh 
600 and something megabytes of uh, mm. LibreOffice. Uh -huh. They usually give you like writer, calc, and uh, impress. So just a little bit of generally uh, Yes, it's like stuff, half of it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it's really fun when it has some weird dependencies. It's like, okay, I just want to remove this. Why do you want to take out half the system? Mm hmm yeah that's this really oh but the the system like the core package yeah. of the system is uh, lists that as a dependency why <laughs> not to knock on LibreOffice. if you need an office suite like that it's a thing it's there yeah. it's just 2019 and even old man vin does stuff online now because collaborative editing is the future mm -hmm. yay steal my data google yeah. um <laughs> fedora 31 new beta mm -hmm. is out and it's got a couple of neat surprising features that i'm in it does and uh, yeah they have uh the availability is now there for uh the 31 beta workstation 31 beta server and they also have like the popular variants you get all the uh different de spins because fedora is actually pretty good in providing you uh with a spin for the widely used uh, desktop environments uh, they also have uh, Fedora 31 Beta Labs and Beta Arm. Uh, they do say that the Fedora, what is it, Core OS, uh, it's mm -hmm. it's in a preview state still. So if you were looking to try like the uh, Atomic Update, uh, everything is containerized version of Fedora, gotta wait a little bit, just a bit. <laughs> so how do you think this will run on my Pinium three? It won't. Why not? Not anymore. <laughs> <Nope>. <laughs> <laughs> Those uh, i686 are uh, packages are, well, they're going away. Mm -hmm. As well, the ISOs already went away uh, with the last couple of releases. It's just now they're getting rid of the i686 repo. But as we mentioned previously, multi lib in the 64 bit uh, repo is still there. Yeah, definitely yeah. got to say that. RIP <laughs> i686. I don't remember the last I saw the, uh, yeah, the IoT spin. That's going to be interesting. XFC 414. Yay. Best desktop. Um, maybe I'm not running. I'm still on 412 because I run Debbie 10 now. Uh, QT Wayland by default. That's good. 100%. Mm -hmm. Firefox Wayland. Brave. Um, <laughs> and GNOME 334. Almost. It's like asterisks. Yeah. It's like, mm -hmm. <laughs> Fun distribution. I think Fedora is an excellent mix of you really want to try the latest and greatest, but you also want to be reasonably assured that your computer's going to boot every time. Yeah, if you hit the power button, it still gets to a graphical environment. <laughs> That's kind of like the minimum. <laughs> you boot to a GUI? Yeah, Scrub. I'm one of those people. <laughs> 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 okay, uh, right. so speaking of fancy things, uh, yes. maybe you have one of these keyboards with the oh, fancy backlighting and whatnot. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> I would yeah. rather I would um, go play it in traffic while jumping off a building before owning that. Yes. <laughs> it's a chunky boy. It's uh, It's got some heft to it. Uh, the Well, and maybe you'd like to be able to control the backlighting if... For some reason, your keyboard doesn't have, like, built-in firmware to control the backlighting. Uh, or maybe you want some more granular control about it. Well, a uh, fine person, what's he call himself, Glatz, created uh, KBD Light, which is available on GitHub. There'll be a link in the show notes, don't you worry. Uh, and he uh, is very mm -hmm. uh, keen on mentioning the fact that he's doing uh, this by the Unix philosophy of do one thing, and do it well and he uh there are no extraneous mm -hmm. dependencies basically you just need i guess lib usb to be able to talk to the keyboard pedro <laughs> hmm? I, I don't have a blink button i've looked <laughs> i mean you don't get to talk you have one of those weird keyboards <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> Ben doesn't like the RGB goodness. <laughs> a system had, requirement like, I look for in a keyboard is, um, <laughs> yeah, I I want to be able to type with a hangover, A. <laughs> I can do that on this one. Yeah, I but, just don't look yeah. down. <laughs> I don't, don't want to be like, shut up, keyboard. <laughs> <laughs> No, man. Um, also, blinking is not a requirement for my keyboard. I understand backlit. 
Um, I'm down with that. And this is a very mm-hmm. useful utility, if which I was unaware. I've, I don't know if I've ever seen a of course you can get a backlit keyboard for nothing now that didn't have a mm-hmm. hardware adjustable. Yeah, the, it's usually built into the keyboard firmware yeah. itself. You just go like mm-hmm. FN tick, 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 done. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Right on, but right yeah, on. this is good <laughs> yeah. in the way that it doesn't have any extraneous dependencies. Yeah. That's very nice. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, and the developer, Juan K- Kuzmar, you know, that's what he was talking about, is how he wanted, he wrote he wrote a program because he wanted simplicity and, and not all those dependencies. Mm-hmm. So that was just to control brightness on a keyboard. So that makes sense. And it looks like a very yeah. sweet little, little program. <laughs> I'm down with that. You can set it off. Yes. Yes. (laughs) Okay. Uh, We need to talk about this. Pine time. Twenty five dollars. Smartwatch companion for London. Smart. Yeah, this is from Pine sixty four. Because stay tuned next week. Pine socks. Um, (laughs) (laughs) uh, The folks at this is where does this come from? Bullet plug. The folks at Pine sixty four have been selling inexpensive Linux laptops, ish, and. It's a smartwatch. It's something that you can find on AliExpress for like eight pounds. And the plan is to get the community to shove some Linux into it. So for that 25 bucks, it's ARM embed running free RTOS. RTOS? That's the thing. Um, I don't know what I would expect from... All right, here we go. Let, let's back this up. <laughs> I don't wear a watch. I'm a hipster. If I'm going out with a watch, it's a pocket watch. Hold on. <laughs> uh, this is how I go Pedro's out. Watch. <laughs> I just use my phone, so. <laughs> so you carry a pocket watch, too. Good. Yes, um, I do. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the only time I use a watch is at scale. I always have one on my bag. <laughs> so... <laughs> The smartwatches never like hit me. I remember when uh, you know Google Wear and them. I was like, "But you got no, uh, you got to charge it." Does it? Th- there's not that killer app, and it's like, c- can you like shoot bees with it or something? I'm like, no, and I was like, oh, I'm not about some of that. I mean, I I see the point for most people because yeah. it's like it's a watch, and you can change the face of it and make it look all fancy. Uh, you can also get like um notifications to say cup i've seen those people who use their watch they like pick up a call and then talk to their watch and and it's like uh i too saw knight rider i kind of want to do that yeah uh, so <laughs> I'm, I'm i guess i'm just easily amused i guess <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> for 25 bucks why not i mean you know yeah. even i might you know play around with this because it would be nice to have notifications on your watch instead of pulling out your phone all the time or your tablet and I think this is cool because now you can live in the Pine 64 Linux ecosystem. You can have a PineBook Pro laptop, Pine Tab tablet, Pine Phone, and now Pine Time Watch for all under $500. Isn't that awesome? Take that, Apple. <laughs> <laughs> I still want one of those uh, Pine Pro laptops. Uh, but I, mean, I, I, I yes. could buy an I like Android tablet cheap. and do stuff with it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Pine Tab, it's great as like a prototype thing, but yeah. This is what we it need needs to say about Pine. Um, it's mm-hmm. an awesome project. Fully support them. Just know what you're getting. You know, you're, you're, mm-hmm. you're getting Tinkertron Plus. Mm-hmm. Yes. Not, <laughs> we're going to roll these out in production because if you do that, send me the video or invite me. I'll come watch record it myself. <laughs> That will be a thing. We get a little bit of news. We we get a, um, a small segment, if I can find it, called Microsoft Loves Linux. <laughs> it's yes. brilliant. Isn't that right, Sriracha? <laughs> yeah. Um, boom. This week. Open sourcing uh... MSVC. Yeah, that's the thing. And you know what? The burning question on the minds of all business professionals. Pedro, will this help me play the video games? <laughs> I guess it would help developers uh, move yeah. their video game building away from the Microsoft ecosystem and get those visual C bits. 
on Linux. But I for actually I, playing I the games, like, no. yeah, no. I love the QA. It's like, is there a catch? I, man, it's like Firstborn. No. Mm-hmm. It's uh, Visual C. It's Microsoft's Visual C. It's yeah. avail. It's uh, being open sourced. So, it, yeah, that's great. Of the open Thanks, source, Microsoft. Man, I mean, it's going to be Apache 2.0, LLVM exemptions, and no, um, the STL isn't merging with libc. So, womp womp. Yeah, mm. you either use the Visual C or you use glibc. One <laughs> strange moon universe are we in, man? I uh, know. I was just gonna say that, Ben, because I remember in college, you know, seeing all you know hundreds of workstations with uh, Microsoft Visual and C plus plus and all the things, and now they're open sourced. I, what universe are we in? <laughs> you know, after Microsoft uh, actually released the XFAT patent, I'm like, okay, all right. Yeah. And now yeah. I'm just waiting for the penny to drop. It's like, what's going to happen? Because them open sourcing more stuff. All right, cool, thanks. But uh, what's happening? What is going to happen exactly? You're you're not doing very good, man. Because if when Microsoft does something, you get to like pick that field goal up, <laughs> take it out of the ground, and move it somewhere else. Like, well, nah. oh no, no. See, my field goal was the XFAT patent. So now I'm just waiting. It's like, okay, what are you gonna do now? <laughs> <laughs> you do have that and that, that's a very real thing because you're like, well, okay and then you're gonna do something dumb here it comes and this, yes. is, this all goes down to microsoft's uh, <laughs> management structure with the different teams pointing guns at each other that um is a very very real thing that's not much of an exaggeration they probably use something better than guns um but <laughs> they just throw windows 10 at each I, other i don't know <laughs> <laughs> I, I saw, uh, this i forget it was or so i was like hey well now do you think we'll end up with like a version of uh windows that is going to have a linux kernel which you know this is something mm-hmm. we used to say in the mm-hmm. 90s i'm like why don't they just build an x server mm. <laughs> you know what with windows it shouldn't i would say guarantee in the next 10 years it's, it's going to be equivalent to stadia it's going to be a streaming service. I do. It's mm-hmm. like, that doesn't make sense, old man Vin. Think about it. It does. Why do you think they're putting yeah. the money into learning? Microsoft's doing their own version of Stadia. If you get good at doing that, delivering a desktop experience, easy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so maybe then that'll be running Linux. That'll laugh. We'll win. Whatever. Um, <laughs> yeah. Just, this is a strange times, man. Yes. <laughs> like, I, I felt dirty for buying a Microsoft <laughs> product, man. <laughs> I mean, it's just a peripheral, right? It is just, yeah. but yeah, that, 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 that doesn't set well at night when you're trying to go to bed. I know. They are very well built, of course. <laughs> and they, they are v- very well made, but yeah, it's, it is a little creepy a little bit. <laughs> uh, by the way, if you're wondering, their ergonomic keyboard and all that, just stick dongle and cut it on, you're good. No problem. Uh, mm-hmm. Right. Uh... Ladies and gentlemen, um, we're going to take a minute to thank everybody who makes this possible. How do we do that, Pedro? Do we, um, mm-hmm. do we, uh, let's see, what do we do? Uh, we, we, we should take up pottery. We should sell pottery. Oh, I was uh, thinking of taking traditional uh, folk dancing. Nope. Okay, while, um, while doing pottery? That could, yeah. Listen. See, that, that, that could be our shtick. I've, I've already... <laughs> I've already accepted this is going to be messy no matter what we do. So. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's going to be clay flinging around all over the place. Clay. It's going to be brilliant. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> if I can get this mouse to move in the right spot. If you'd like to support our clay experiments, you can do that by becoming one of the 113 and beautiful people making this show possible. This is a community experiment. We're entirely community funded. And if you would like to join that, mm-hmm. you can do that at patreon.com forward slash Linux Gamecast. We got a bunch of tiers. Uh, get access to the Discord. You get early access. I even made something for everyone. Check that out. Podcasting mm-hmm. on Linux, the Vin way, yeah. which is the wrong way, <laughs> only faster. <laughs> and I'm going to be following that up with a little thing for streaming because... No humble brag whatsoever. I, I do have a lot of experience setting up OBS and how you should set up your streaming rigs and stuff like that. So that's something that's going to be coming in the future. You do get our pre-pre-super shows in, and you can listen to that live Saturday if you want. It's 7.30. You're like, man, I like this nonsense. I'd like to join in. 
hop in Discord, click that audio for the uh, creep shows, and we're in there. And uh, what else do we got? Uh, we got a wish zone. I mean, if you want to creep on the stuff we're planning on buying for the shows, that's the thing. You can do that. That's at linuxemcast.com. You're like, no, that's a stupid thing. Vin, buy the other thing. Feel free. Send me a message because this is this is our grocery list. This is stuff that we're going to buy. And if you have some thoughts on that, let us know. Pedro and Jill both have like wish mm-hmm. lists of like filled with plushy toys and dancing supplies. <laughs> I don't know what dancing supplies are, but it's definitely a thing. You can check it out yourself 100%. <laughs> Put it in your face. Keep being awesome. And uh, that's that. That's awesome. No, and I guess uh, we should uh, take advantage of the shilling no, section and nope. thank Hoggle88 for the 20 bits. Much appreciated. Oh, we got 20 bits? Yeah. Yep. Yes, we did. Hoggle, once again, making those bits rain. All right. right on. <laughs> Neat. I I don't know what bits are, but we got them. It's brilliant. It's awesome. <laughs> we, got a new, we got a new follower, too. Uh, no, to uh, Illyrian <laughs> Killer was uh, oh, okay. yesterday. Okay. <laughs> People reading. All right. So, let's get into a slice of pie mm. this week with rocks. I love rocks in my oh, pie. Oh, yes. The rock pie. It's uh, the x86 uh, pie-like that, well, we have uh, mentioned in the past several times, and they were like a 100 bucks for the cheapest one. But this one, well, this one uh, comes in at a bit less. Uh, with the Atom X5... Uh, Z8300 uh, Cherry Trail processor and yeah they're, they're expecting it to retail for around uh, $39 for the 1 gigabyte RAM uh, version and then the prices increase as you add more RAM so yeah the price difference between the Rock Pi um, x86 and the um, Raspberry Pi it's like very small at this point which means you could have like the credit card size x86 computer for you to play around with if you don't mm. want to learn about the arm things and the price is not mm. terrible it's like even the um the four mm. gigabyte version of the uh, rock Pi x model a is like 65 dollars yeah that's very nice <laughs> that could be down with that when we're talking about you know x86 and that form factor a uh, quad core yeah. one, it's I'd like to see what it's capable of. And it's in that price to like, all right, I'll just pick one. Make sure it's available. This is the reason I don't own a Raspberry mm. Pi 4 right now because they <laughs> sold out. I was like, yeah, yeah, I'll just buy one. Now they're like, eh. <laughs> yeah, I do want one of those uh, Raspberry Pi 4s with the 4 gigs of you RAM, but <laughs> <Yes. live. laughs> Where they're made. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you would like to give. But they're sold down. That's the thing. You could they had them in stock at the store, which is next yeah. to your house. <laughs> they had it in stock. <laughs> the, every time I checked, baby, it was in stock. <laughs> I checked last week because it's like, okay, maybe I'll go. No, they're out of stock. <laughs> we were talking like six months ago, too. <laughs> ah, yeah, yes. when it came out. Yeah, <laughs> See, Pedro's made it. He's got this thing in his head. He's like, I'm not going to that. He's like a child. He's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm petulant like that. He, you he are. didn't want to spend an hour on the bus. That's why. <laughs> Aww. That's kind of brilliant. Um, if they're in stock and they roll out, I mean, quad core 1.4, I don't know exactly what you get away with doing it. My thought is like, could I replace what, not replace, but add another Optiplex, you know, WebRTC streaming box now? Yeah. Well, the advantage to this is also that it, because now you can run x86 apps uh, and a lot there's a lot of them that aren't available for ARM yet. So that would be a good use case for this. Mm-hmm. 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 It'd be fun. Don't listen to play with. I mean, the GPU side uh, integrated and it's like 500 megahertz. So, I, for mm-hmm. a chip that size, yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that'll be a thing. All right, uh, everyone's favorite company, Oracle. Yeah. Yay, this is actually yes, really, really cool. Favorite. Yes. <laughs> so this is uh, the Oracle Raspberry Pi supercomputer has 1060 Raspberry Pis, 49 <laughs> custom printed Pi holders, 22 network switches, 18 USB power supplies, and lots and lots and lots of wiring. It is running 
Oracle Autonom Autonomous Linux in Java, of course, and is being used to render selfies at the Oracle Open World event being held in San Francisco today and since Monday. And it, it does really look a bit like a TARDIS. And um, But it was intended as a proof of concept that was created by Oracle as a way to learn fundamental cluster principles and just because it was cool. And guess what it's been using for? It's been being used for it as a giant selfie box. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I guess that's, that's one fun. way to make a Raspberry Pi cry. You get it to run yes. Java and yeah. uh, have it render your <laughs> selfie. Yeah. <Yes. laughs> it's powered by the tears of raspberries everywhere. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but this is really amazing. 1060 Raspberry Pis. That's awesome. I do think it squarely falls in the category a lot neater if it wasn't from Oracle. Oh, yeah. um you have to think about, you know, <laughs> pie clusters they're not practical when it comes to performance they're not but the novelty yeah. you know this is homebrew supercomputer project it makes the learning experience worthwhile getting that set mm -hmm. up and running you know even even if you're playing the home game and you know as you said i mean it's basically set up as a demo, because they announced autonomous Linux. I'm like, hey, we can do this mm -hmm. thing too. We're Oracle. We love Linux, except for remember that time when we were financing Sco? Yay, we're Oracle. It, yes. <laughs> remember oh. all the times that we were actively trying to go after people for using Linux stuff? Yeah. <laughs> but um, it's Oracle, dude. I mean, like, we're not going to sell this. This is another thing because if they were, this would cost 10 times as much as any competitor mm -hmm. who was making that product. It would require you to sign a 10 year contract and maintenance agreement mm -hmm. that doesn't cover anything when you actually use it. <laughs> also, I may yeah. have dealt with Oracle <laughs> in my past life. Um, yes. <laughs> um, yeah, that's cool. That's neat. It was surprisingly devoid of people around it, though. They're like, we're everywhere else. But then again, you're, you're at an Oracle <laughs> conference. You, yeah, I think like, just Raspberry Pis are not what people are going to the Oracle no, conference for, to yes, be honest. Exactly. If, if you're a plane to the Oracle conference, you're, you're questioning life decisions. Mm -hmm. It's like, are you getting paid to do that? Because if you had to pay to do that... Mm. Mm. Hey man, maybe Aww. you are getting paid to do stuff for the Oracle. We'd love to hear about it. Yes, uh, if you do have some interesting stories to share, you can go to LinuxGameCast.com. You hit the contact button, make sure to pick uh, LWDW from the little show box, and fill out your name, your email, give us a subject, and your message, and we will be more than happy to feature it right here, right now. Tell us about things <laughs> we did wrong, tell us about things we did right, uh, tell us that Oracle rules, uh, 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 or, yes. you know, don't. <laughs> tell us your horror <laughs> stories about uh, working with Oracle stuff. We're, we'll be more than happy, I know I will, uh, to read okay, those well, right here. You might, you might need to go take a bio break and I'll give you a few. Okay. <laughs> I'm joking. We don't have that much time. We gotta get up. Yeah. <laughs> Coming up first okay. from Leo P. Talking about nice. Plex, we can do it. Maybe we can answer it. Yeah, this is a question. Mm -hmm. Yay. Can I get a recommendation for a Plex distribution? Per usual, the internet is unable to agree. No, not the internet. <laughs> On one, CentOS, CentOS 8 is about to drop. Leaning towards that. Recommendations? Question mark? Thanks. I, oh, come on. Don't thank us. <laughs> uh use whatever you're comfortable with it mm -hmm. i mean you're just you just want a base to run plex off of do you know ubuntu use ubuntu do you know scent mm -hmm. use scent do you know manjaro or arch use those yeah yeah <laughs> i'm i'm running it on debian 10 so i got my plex server on debian 10 i love it <laughs> Use what you know, because if something goes yeah. wrong, you're going to be the one who has to deal with it. So, mm -hmm. man, mm -hmm. have you ever like asked somebody a question and they didn't give you one, like an answer? It was like, oh, you know, it was whatever you want, because yeah, that's why you're asking a question because you were totally <laughs> non indecisive. Hey, okay. check this out, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> My Plex box runs Ubuntu eighteen oh four LTS. Why? 10 years. 
Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's going to be supported for 10 years. It's headless. You probably get away with doing the server, but you get all your codex stuff there. You don't have to mess around with it. And you put it in the corner, set it, forget it. Don't bother with it. Yeah. If you don't want to worry about the codex, Ubuntu is a very good choice. Yeah. That could be a thing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And uh, I, Debian would be a thing. Uh, just But then you have to worry about the codex. <laughs> you got to worry about a lot well, more than the codex. Yeah. <laughs> Well, just just got to make sure to compile in player, which I do on an every Debian box. That helps no, a lot. No, you just enable the Debian multimedia <laughs> repository when you're done. Oh, yeah. But I like to compile my in player. You I, know, I like to get stuff do- done. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but don't let that take away if you need something to do. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Pedro, go for it. I don't know how to do okay, that. Okay, so uh, this one is about Ven's little Nikon hack. And uh, Ven, how did you manage to remove the autofocus point? Like the little square thingy. Uh, <laughs> I follow the same method, but I'm still stuck at removing that rectangle. Uh, Atharva. Atharva right. is asking how to get rid of that. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. So not necessarily Linux specific, but I just wanted to throw this in here because this question that was asked, and it's like, hey man, you took a hair. You know, it's showing off that sometimes the best hacks are the dumb ones. <laughs> yeah. And then instead of dumping the BIOS and seeing if I could figure out what bit to flip to keep that half shutter press, I was like, I just put a hair tire on it. Yeah, it works. And I, I've now upgraded the technology to zip ties. But uh, <laughs> How did I get rid of, because he's talking about like the on-screen display, it's got the overlay stuff. How did I get rid of that? Um, let me tell you, I got rid of that. I read the manual. Because ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> that's going to do it. We got to get out of here. <laughs> Bye, everyone. We love you. That was a bit of an anti-climax. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tell you exactly how you get rid of that. Read the manual. <laughs> Reminds me of the Fedora forums back in the day, or RTFM. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so yeah, Arthur is with me on that one. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't going to say that, but yeah. It's RTFM. <laughs> if you've not read far enough into the manual and the absolute basics of how to control the camera, you don't need to know how to do it that. Anything else? Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's like taking the time to type out. You might as well say, would you Google this for me? Mm-hmm. No. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how to Google. <laughs> you know, if you say that, people might actually help you. Hey, Frank. Bye, Frank. <laughs> Scared him off. <laughs> Frank went into space. Frank. Blast <laughs> off into space, our Frank. <laughs> he's he's not happy being in Ven's house right now. <laughs> Frank. Yes, are there. Okay, whoever needs that bio break can <laughs> go and do I that. I guess I should go. <laughs> I'll be back. <laughs> hey man, Frank's cool. He's chilling. He's just peacing out, man. Mm-hmm. Hang it out. <laughs> like, what's up? Stoic. Stoic ass Frank. I've never talked to him. I think Frank needs a new tiara. <laughs> Dude, that's his problem, man. Like, <laughs> Thursdays, he won't shut up. I'm like, well, it'd be nice if you talk during the stream. You know? like, oh. <laughs> so, what do you have going on the rest of the day? Did, did they uh, do something to your uh, cubicle at work? Well, uh, Nathan got a bit bored, uh, and he started going through the cupboards, and he found the label maker. 
So I, he started right. printing out labels. In Nathan's defense, I'm not responsible enough to own a label. I gave mine away. <laughs> So, yeah, uh, and since I had told them a couple of days before that about the whole buffalo, 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 buffalo thing, um, it's like, no, that can't be a thing. It is. It's, no, there's no way. Google it. Oh. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> so then I guess he still had that in his head. So it's like, okay, buffalo, buffalo. <laughs> there. <laughs> One thing I, I fear people who didn't learn English, if you're a native English speaker, it might be strange to you. Pedro, there's not much in the way of English that can be thrown in. It's like, yeah, it probably does that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, I've always had this passing thing with etymology. Uh, and the whole buffalo thing was interesting because it's like oh yeah you can have an entire sentence made out of the word buffalo mm -hmm. <laughs> admittedly the verb to buffalo isn't used anymore mostly due to the connotations attached to it uh but yes <laughs> you mean delicious <laughs> and the damn near extinction that it caused of the uh what were they called prairie oxes Something like that. <laughs> I don't feel like Googling. The it, buffaloes. To be with you. Yeah. <laughs> How dare you insult hot dogs like that, Jelly Bean? <laughs> Gourmet hot dogs. That's a real thing. Yes, that is a wiener. <laughs> I know I've seen them. I've seen a stuffed one. <laughs> I did that. I did my drive across America and back. I got that out of my system. It was a long time ago. It's a boring drive, by the way. I mean, I guess if you are following the Route 66, the yeah, See, the bit I just did through, the interstate because it's more efficient. Yeah, but at least through Route 66, at least through like half of it, you're going through like little towns and whatnot, and there's stuff happening right up until you get to Nevada. And then it's all desert. <laughs> also, you got a pop, and you had a pop in your stream yesterday. It's like a buffer off run, underrun bolts. It's not hardware. <laughs> it's sporadic. I think you had two during the show and you had one just then. Just a... Okay. Just an oh, FYI from your friendly neighborhood, Vin. Yes. I'm going to mute myself a sec. No! See, I just told Pedro that he had an issue with software, and he's unblogging. <laughs> do do. <laughs> well, I mean, to be hundred percent off, it, it's an issue in software. It's not hardware. Um, what can I do to minimize that? I don't know. It's a, it's I guess a, I could lower the pulse msec latency yeah. thing. I don't use pulse. Okay. Hmm. What game am I going to stream Friday? That that's a funny joke, mm. out there. And that that's a pretty <laughs> funny. <laughs> play some jackbox or something I hadn't decided that would be fun always love the jackbox 
I was thinking about maybe doing a run of um, Dead Island Definitive Edition multiplayer and trying that with Proton to see if the multiplayer actually works. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that would be interesting. It's got to work better than the Linux port. <laughs> yeah, Linux port's fine. It's multiplayer yeah. just is. We it's multiplayer. genuinely spent an hour trying to connect and we kind of got it to work oh. once. Oh, okay. Now I'm remembering, yeah. You'll be asleep, dude. Yeah, I haven't played Dead Island since it was first released on Linux. <laughs> uh. <laughs> You'll be asleep, trust me. <laughs> I work on statistics. Right there, and that's a funny picture. <laughs> you know, that's a surprisingly conservative crack. <laughs> <laughs> yes. The only thing missing from that picture is a thong. <laughs> <laughs> or someone with a hand with a quarter going like <laughs> man so, yeah that, so the chat didn't flip out it seemed to have held <laughs> I don't have any complaints with that. It's not the one we're going to permanently use, hopefully. If it comes down to me having to fix it, oh boy. <laughs> so outside of making random noises, what are you up to, Jill? Oh, <clears throat> well, I thought it was cool that you had the had the the bits and the uh, follow notification too. That's awesome. So we could see it. Billions of hours of work. <laughs> Man, you can really junk up a stream. I was looking through some stream labs, like all their widget oh. notifications and alerts. I was like, what? No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's, that's silly. Yeah. But if you did do that, see, I'm just thinking about, like, if you did like a full screen overlay for like an alert that was just a blank screen <laughs> and you were trying to play the game through OBS like if the rules were set that way <laughs> full screen thing is like someone followed <laughs> oh dude imagine trying to play rocket cars just, you'd get murder rated <laughs> I'm going for the ball, I'm going for the ball. Uh, <laughs> ten seconds. <laughs> yeah, Art Theron, you've been in Jackbox quite a few times. Oh, just having a hard time. Understand. And your schedule's been all wacky too with work. Hmm. Be not like Pedro staying up past his bedtime. <laughs> I blame Dark Souls. Gab's <laughs> 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 coming in here, shutting everything down, getting ready. Pedro's like, "Yep." Yeah. yeah, I Don't saw that. Dark Souls. Go like, to bed. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> that's like you. <laughs> I'm on it. <laughs> After I finish listening to the Black Album. Yes, because I had the Black Album playing. It was at a reasonable volume, not to piss off the neighbors, but it was playing through the sound bars. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, I'm just going to sit here a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Pennywise, wow, classic. <laughs> I haven't read into a game that bugged me enough to keep me coming back to it in a while. There's definitely been games I could pick up and like, oh, I'm going to pull time into that and put it down. It hasn't. I'm thinking like that addiction thing, like yeah, uh, don't get stuck. <laughs> I can't do anything else. Like what? Nah, man, I'm home. This is what I'm doing now because I've been there. I know yeah. that. I know those feels. 
The last game that did that for me was Talos Principle, because it has three different endings, and I had to get through those three different endings. And I did. <laughs> <laughs> in MMOs, I've worked on an MMO, so I, no, uh-uh, never again. I have <laughs> no interest in that. Oh, yeah, Sorceress, yeah, Stardew Valley. That is a, that is a fun game. I enjoy watching you play that, too. And Patrick, and Mere PPC. <laughs> Yeah, she's been playing it every morning with coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Last thing I want to do when I get up is touch a computer. <laughs> <laughs> First thing I want to do when I get up is touch a computer, but then I go to work, it's like, nope, mm, go away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no mirrors, <laughs> something we planned ahead because we had a bet whether or not you were listening. Um... <laughs> <laughs> I don't even take my mobile with me when I go running in the morning. So if I get run over, I'm like, that's it. You'll find me in a ditch if I'm lucky. Uh, uh, that's nice, though, to be away from it. Yeah, being I've in the ditch, dying. <laughs> no! <laughs> Pretty sweet. I keep... I, what I do is I have it with me when I'm traveling away from home, because Steve Husband wants to be able to, you know, contact me. But um, I keep it off. I don't... I try not to look at it when I'm doing you know, exercise or walking, you know, just to get away from tech for a bit and, and messages from Twitter and whatnot. You're going to have to set up that Discord so it'll quit narking on you because it shows your mobile device. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you want to like to be, like, having your phone or anything like that with you while you're driving no that goes in the boot yes mm -hmm. all right mm -hmm. anything else before we get out of here mm. no i guess i'm going no. to have to do maths to calculate the uh default fragments and uh fragment size for pulse audio for the at 2020 going over to behringer Try and get rid of the popping. Mm. It's <laughs> intermittent, so... I mean, do, do you have it set in real-time priority in your uh, pulse config? It's a uh, time-based scheduler. That's the default nowadays. Mm. What do you have? Uh... I guess I could disable the time-based scheduler and just go back to interrupt mode. Well, you have that running through. Do you have it set at... Because that, what is, what what does the uh, that interface output? It should output it forty eight, right? Uh, forty four one hundred, because that's what it's set in Pulse Audio. I guess I could increase that. Check the Just specs on it. I think the default is for the device itself. I know most of them are forty eight thousand. Then that may be the issue, because yeah, Pulse Audio is set to forty four one hundred. Yeah. Like, you yeah. set that and mm. set the fallback to 44100, but yeah. set your primary to 48. Okay, that is easy enough to do. Then test it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, just waste your time. It won't do it if you're trying to make it do it. You know that. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, Jill, you got anything going on? Hmm going to do today i have a lot of things i need to do <laughs> so including some uh looking over some student work <laughs> so <laughs> and lunch <laughs> and and i need to go for a nice long walk <laughs> all right is everyone liking the new steam beta Yes, it's awesome. It's a bit heavy on the processor. A little bit. Yeah, it is, actually, yeah. <laughs> but it is pretty. <laughs> it does look nice, and it's like, oh, you can see all... If you're looking at a specific game, you can see, like, all the achievements and all the progress and screenshots that people on your friends list have made in that same game. So it's like, oh, that's nice. <laughs> Man, 
If only there was a show that people would talk about that in further detail, I could watch, Pedro. Yes, maybe it would... I mean, like, spitballing here, but it could uh, air on, like, Saturday nights. Hmm. And, uh, since we're talking about it on Linux, we could call it, like, Linux Game... Show? <laughs> <laughs> How about Linux Game Loneliness? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Linux no. game, I'm stuck at home on a Saturday night, so I might as well. <laughs> this has a good ring to it. <laughs> Too real. <laughs> no, um, if you're into that, come hang out with us on Saturday. We do go live at 8.30. That's our four hour, like, block of madness and nonsense. And we do have <laughs> one new thing I pooped in. Anybody's interested in it? Oh, yeah, yeah. That's so cute, Vin. I I, I had a feeling <laughs> when you posted that picture you were going to use that. <laughs> it's, it's perfect. Was it the uh, shirt I'm working with is coming along? <laughs> Did I give it away? Yeah. Well, no, actually, right when you posted it, I'm like, I was thinking that would be perfect for our t-shirts. And and then you, you said that. <laughs> so that's the thing. That's merch. Um, mm -hmm. Available in our merchy store. I just wanted to make one because I wanted a shirt that I would wear. Yeah. <laughs> As opposed to, like, just collecting them. <laughs> Like, if you break into my house, we have the entire store I have in the original packaging, so. Take one as a souvenir. I'll know that you were here. All right. We're going to bounce out of here. Bye, everyone. Everybody Love have you. fun. Bye.